Are you ready? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Kim Godet along with Mike Currier on camera, and we are in the shootout portion of this uh, fantastic uh, competitive game, the BG Cardinals versus the Bedford Bulldogs. Uh, it's coming down to a shootout. And I'm going to see if I can recognize the shooters here for BG. We have LaPlante, we have Burns, we have Elliott, we have uh, Dignan, and uh, one girl I cannot see for the Bedford Bulldogs. And it looks like Michaela Elliott, Michaela Elliott will take the first shot. BG will shoot first. I see Goslin over there. That's about it <laughs> for Bedford. I can't see anybody else's number. Barrett, the goalkeeper. And the first shot, not a strong shot, but accuracy over power. A lot of times you see kids line up to take this tremendous shot, and it goes over the net, goes wide, goes off the crossbar, but that was all about placement. And uh, if we can get this girl's ponytail out of the way for a second. Is this Campbell? Yeah, this is Campbell. Number 17, Christina Campbell. Caroline Hoffer in goal. Campbell shooting for Bedford. And the save by Hoffer. Campbell going for accuracy and of just a very weak shot. Hoffer had no trouble uh, sprawling out and, and collecting that one. So up next for the BG Cardinals is Marie LaPlante. She has two goals already in this game. Looking for her third goal. Barrett in goal for the Bedford Bulldogs. And goal number two for the Cardinals. As Marie LaPlante runs back to her teammates in excitement. And Steele, Asher Steele, who had a strong, strong game for the Bedford Bulldogs. Very physical player, very quick player. Great shot, left foot, right foot, great passer. She's up against Caroline Hoffer. And she scores for Bedford. So it's two to one, BG two, Bedford one in the shootout so far. Kylie Dignan, it'll be her chance to go up against Bedford's goalkeeper, Barrett. She's a left footer. I know as a coach on a shootout, th th this is the most heart-wrenching time of, of a game. Dignan, able to score. BG, three in a row. Next, for the Bedford Bulldogs, I believe it's, uh, is that Goslin? Sienna Goslin, just, um, no, no, it's 21, it's Kelly. These girls have uh, these ponytails. So Kelly, and Kelly's, Kelly, who? Oh, what happened? You can hear me, all right, I can't hear me. All right, well, Kelly scored, it's now 3-2. BG up, 3-2. Marissa Burns taking the next shot against uh, goalkeeper Barrett. Test. Yeah, I think it was a connection. Okay, Burns against Barrett. Marissa Barrett took a lot of the free kicks in this game. And she scores. Four for four, BG. This is 17. Is this 17? Can't, is this 12. I'm sorry, 12. 22. Uh, the 22. Shiapa. A girl who had uh, probably one of the strongest games. She has to make this. And it's, oh, it, Hoffer got her hands on it, but uh, didn't punch it out hard enough, and Shopper scores. 
if number 15 for BG, Alyssa Zajac had a strong game on defense. If she can finish here, BG will move on to the finals against the winner of Exeter Pinkerton on Sunday. Burns against Barrett. And it's a save. She had great placement. I think Barrett uh, judged it correctly. Uh, got to that ball without a problem. Barrett makes the save. Here's Goslin. Goslin scores. Now we're going to have to go to additional players. So they're going to have to start taking players off the bench. So we're all tied at four, four goals apiece. It looked like BG was going to pull it out, but uh, Bedford finished up here in the shootout. And they're probably going to go select another five and bring them out. Sometimes they do it one by one. Sometimes they'll bring another five. I've actually seen a shootout. I've seen 30-plus people shoot out in a game. Unbelievable. Okay, as we wait, uh, the rain's still falling here in Exeter. Still cold, temperature probably about 40 degrees. Uh, each coach trying to figure out who's going to be their best candidate to, to come up and take a, a, a penalty kick. So until they figure it out, we're going to take a short break, folks. Uh, Kim got it along with Mike Curry. We'll be right back for the final uh, PKs here at um, Ball Stadium in Exeter, New Hampshire. Okay, folks, we are back. Each team has selected a brand new five. So it's like we're starting all over again. Although it is, this is sudden death now. So once a BG girl, if she makes the shot, Bedford has to make the shot. If the BG girl misses the shot and the Bedford girl makes the shot, then Bedford wins. This is uh, 23. Carotis for BG. Megan Carotis, a senior. And she misses the net. This is Clark for Bedford. If Clark makes this, Bedford will move on. We've seen Clark uh, this entire game. We've seen her speed. We've seen her agility. We've seen her ability. If she can finish this shot right now, she will have won this game for her Bedford Bulldogs team. And she did it. The game is over. Bedford wins it on PKs on a shot by Clark. Sailor Clark wins it. And Sailor, just a 10th grader. Imagine how good this girl is going to be over the next couple of years. But uh, kudos to BG, a heavy underdog in this game. They scored first on a goal by Marie LaPlante. They got down 2-1. to one. They battled back to tie it up. They were ahead in the shootout in the first five shooters. But uh, Bedford, the defending champions, move on to play 
the winner of the Exeter Pinkerton game, which is coming up shortly after this. This is Kim Goddard along with Mike Carrier on camera. camera thank you very much for uh, watching and listening. And if we have made any mistakes, send us in some money so we can go to school and get better at it. We appreciate it. God bless you. <laughs>